Hi there, I'm Andy Hillier and today I'm going to teach you how to play Blackbird by The Beatles. It's actually a really easy song to play on the guitar. Just before I teach you it, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel, which is Andy Hillier, if you could give me a like on the video and leave me some comments, including any songs you'd like me to teach you. Okay, so let's get down to it. We've got an intro to learn, uh, three lines for a verse, there's a little interlude, uh, and then there's also two lines uh, to the chorus. So let's start with the intro. It sounds like this. So for that, we're going to start with our third finger on E3 nearest to your face. And we're going to play the E string and the B string at the same time. And then you're going to play the G string. So that's the first little bit we've got. Then take the third finger off and put your first finger on B1. And you're going to play the A string and the B string at the same time. And then play the G string. So the first little bit we've got. And then you're going to go to your first finger on A2 and your third finger on B3. And we're going to play the A string and the B string at the same time. And then play the G string. So the first bar sounds like this. Then we're going to keep that same shape or those fingers and we're going to move them up. So your first finger goes to fret 10 on the A string and your third finger on 12 on the B string. If you struggle to use your third finger, you could use your little finger as well. So either your little finger or your third finger on B12. We play them at the same time, and then play the B string, and then the G string. So you've got... And then we're gonna play the A string on its own, then the G string, and then the B string. So that second bar goes like this. So da, 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 da. And the next bar is exactly the same. So let's play bars two and three. They sound like this. So let's try and put the whole line together. Here we go, ready, and. bit faster okay so that's the intro of the song up to speed it sounds like this the next line so we go to the next line uh, is the first line of the verse and it's exactly the same as the intro so the first line of the verse goes The next line of the verse, we're going to start, um, I'm going to use my first finger A3, and I'm going to use my little finger on B5. We're going to play them at the same time, then play the open G string, and then I'm going to move my first finger to E3, the string nearest the floor, and put my second finger on A4. Play the E, the E string nearest the floor and the A string at the same time, then play the G string. So the first bar of that line goes. And then it basically does that same movement up two frets. So my first finger is on A5 and my little finger is on B7. Play those two and then the G. Then my first finger goes down to the E string on the fifth fret. Second finger on fret six of the A string. Play them at the same time. Then the G string. So the first and second bars of that line go. Then we're going to go to the first finger A7, third finger B8. We're in the third bar now, and it's going to do kind of that same rhythm that we had in the previous line. It goes. So you're playing both together, then G B A G B, and then you're going to take your first finger down to the sixth fret. Uh, you could either leave your third finger on the B string on fret eight, or you could change to your little finger on uh, B8. It doesn't matter. So you've got the last bar is. So let's try and put the whole of that line together. Ready, and. On 
on to the next line of the verse. We're going to start with the first finger on A5 and little finger on B7. Play them at the same time. Then the open G string. And then we're going to go down to your first finger on E3 and second finger on A4. Play them at the same time. Then the G string. And then we're going to go to your into the second bar with your first finger A3, little finger on B5. And we'll do that same sort of rhythm. Da, 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 da. That we played on the previous lines. And then on the third bar, take your little finger off and go to your third finger on B4 and do the same rhythm. And then into the next bar, we're going to move them all down one fret. So your first finger's on two and your third finger's on fret three of the B string. So let's play the first four bars of that line. It should sound like this slowly. Ready? And... The next bar, you just need to play, uh, put a finger on B2 and do that same kind of rhythm. Then this next bar, your first finger goes to B1. You do the same rhythm, but instead of your thumb playing the A string, it's going to play the D string, so you get... And then the last bar, you just got your finger on E3 nearest to your face, and you're going to do... Same idea, like the rhythm, but you just your thumb's on the E string. So let's try and play the whole of that line. Ready, and... Okay, so let's try and put the whole of the verse together. So we've got three lines of the verse. Uh, we'll do it nice and slowly. Ready, and... Now after it plays the first verse, it plays a little interlude that sounds like this. Which is um, it's a similar idea to what we've been playing so far. First finger on fret 3 of the A string, little finger on B5. Then play the G string. Then move to your first finger to fret 2 of the A string, third finger on B3. Then play the G string. So the first bar is. And then we go to your finger on fret 2 of the B string and play this. That same kind of rhythm again. Then to fret B1. We've played this bar on the previous line. So let's try and play the whole of the interlude. Ready and. So then, once we've played that interlude, we're going to repeat back and play the verse again. So you do the three lines of the verse, not the intro, just the three lines of the verse. Once we've played that, it then goes to the chorus. Now the chorus sounds like this. So for that, we've got two lines of the chorus. First finger on eight, little finger on uh, B10. Play them at the same time, then the G string. Then move your first finger to fret seven, third finger on B8. Then move that down two frets to fret five and six. Then three and five. So let's play the first two bars nice and slowly. It sounds like this. Move down two more frets to B1 and play that rhythm. And then move that up two frets again to three and five and do the same rhythm. 
so let's play the first line of the chorus. Ready and. Now the second line of the chorus starts the same uh, for the first three bars. So the first three bars go. And then it goes to just your finger on B2 and you've got the open A string. Same rhythm that we've done. And then this last bar, we've done this before as well. So let's play the whole of that second line of the chorus. Ready and. So let's put the whole of the chorus together. Here we go. One, two, three, four. And then after the chorus, you just go back to the verse and play through the verse straight to the chorus. Uh, and that's the whole song. Well, hopefully you've enjoyed this little lesson. Hopefully you found it easy to follow. That's my big aim is to try and make guitar lessons easy to follow uh, so that you can learn from them. Uh, if you have enjoyed it, if you could give me a like on the video, if you could let me know in the comments section, it really helps me out. Just let me know what you thought of the video and any songs that you'd like me to do a video on. Uh, and the big thing, if you could subscribe to my channel, that really would help me out. I'd really appreciate that. Thanks for watching this. I've been Andy Hillier and I'll see you next time.